Welcome back to Pseudo Sergeant. Uh, this time I'm going to talk with you about managing groups. Let's start by checking out what groups are in the system. Cat forward slash etc forward slash group. Once we cat that file, we see the contents of this file. And look at all the names that are in here. We have root, bin, daemon, sys, add, tty, disk. We also have groups that are the names of our accounts, like sergeant, uh, potato head. So now that we can see what groups are on the system, this is just a list of all the groups that are in the system. If we want to get more specific and see the um, groups that just a particular account is uh, connected to, let's, let's see what groups Buckethead is in. Buckethead is in the groups sudo and potato. Now, how about we create a group? Let's do that. We want to create a group, we do sudo group, G-R-O-U-P, group add, D-I-R-S-H-A-R-E. Okay, that'll be good. Now we've created this group called DR share and there are no members in this group. Let's add some members. There are a couple of ways to do this. We can do it through the user mod method or through the gpassword method. Let's use both. First, starting with gpassword. So we'll do gpassword dash a space user, which will be technician in this group. Technician and then dir share. Okay, now adding user technician to group dir share. Let's cat the, the group file. There we go. Now in our DR share, we see uh, technician is in that group. How about we also add buckethead to this group with the user mod method? Okay, so we do sudo user mod space dash a, and provide a capital G, and then the name of the group, which is DIR share, D I R S H A R E, and then the account name, buckethead. Now let's cat the group file again. So now we have this group. DR share and two accounts associated with it. The distinction between the primary group that an account is associated with and additional groups that an account may have is that whenever a person goes and creates a document, it's going to be owned by the person who made the file and the file is going to be um, associated with the primary group that the account of the account that made the file. Let me show you an example here. I've got a test directory Let's look at it, pwd. So I'm in the home technician test. Within this directory, I'm going to make another directory. I'm going to call it share. mkdr, ls. So there's a share directory. So bin ls, uh, we see this directory share, is owned by technician, and it's in the group technician. And I'm going to change the group of this share directory to technician. So ch own. Uh, ch own means change ownership of a directory or a file. Then we'll want to do technician, keep it owned by technician, C C H I C I N, and then put it into the group of D I R share, D I R share. Actually, you know what? I can do dot dot forward slash share. There's another thing I need to um, make clear. When a user is added to a new group, the system doesn't recognize that the user has been added to that group until the person is logged out and then logged back in. So give me a moment, I'll be right back. So the reason I had to log out and log back in is because I have yet to find a way to refresh the groups list of a currently logged in user. If anybody out there in the community knows how to do that, please let me know. Okay, so I'm logged back in, I'm in the director share. What I want to do is uh, make this file so that I can share it between different accounts within a directory that is in a shared group. So ls, I'm, what's pwd? So I'm in the home technician test share. This is the directory that I want to share. And the file.txt is there. I'm going to use a utility called uh, exa. I actually set it up in my bash rc as an alias for lk. Uh, basically, EXA is a modern replacement for um, LS, which is listing uh, the contents of a directory. Basically, it just colorizes everything and puts it in the grid and it makes it easier to interpret. It makes it human readable. Readable. So we want to change the group from technician to DI share. Another thing, we want to check the permissions. We want to be able to make sure the owner can read and write, but we'd also like the group to be able to read and write as well. We're going to need to use two utilities, chown and chmod. So we'll do chown dash r for recursive and v for verbose. The owner that I want to be is technician, and I want it to be in the group dir share. And the directory, I'm going to be, I'm going to do dot dot forward slash share. 
So since we're in the current directory, I'm going to go up the directory and then I'll point to the directory and its, co its contents. Okay, here we go. We change the ownership of dot dot forward slash share file dot text from technician to technician di share right here. And then change the ownership of technician technician to technician tech, uh, technician dir share of both the directory and the file. So now any account that is in the dir share can write files in this directory. Uh, any account that is in dir share can read um, file that text, but cannot write to it because the write flag is not set. So what we'd want to do in order to set that, we would use chmod g plus w space file text. Let's look at it. Hey, look at that, it worked. So now owner can read and write and group can read and write. All right, now that we have the permission set and we have the group set, I'm gonna log, I'm gonna open up another terminal and I'm gonna log in as Buckethead. So we're gonna do su for switch user to Buckethead. And remember the super, 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 super duper ultra mega time secret password. Okay, now we're logged in as Buckethead. We'll do ls space dash la. No, 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 l. S, not LA. Okay, there we go. All right, so we can rewrite. Let's see if we can write to this file. I'm gonna edit it. So nano uh, file, file that text. Um, I am editing this file and I am in the group. Exclamation point. Control X, save, write the file. Hey, there we go, it wrote. There, uh, let's see if I can make a file in this directory. So I'll touch. Um, test file, test dot file. Cannot touch text file, permission denied. Hmm, why is that? Look over here, our, our directory share, it's in the group directory share. Read, write, execute for the owner. Read and execute uh, for the group. So that explains why Buckethead can't write anything in that directory. So we're gonna need to change the permissions for this directory as well. So I can just do up arrow group plus w dash v for robosity. You know, I'm gonna give it a capital R as well because we want some, we want this to be recursive. It's not actually gonna matter much because we already have that set there. So now, can Buckethead write to this directory? Let's find out. Touch test.txt. Hey, Buckethead did it. Let's, there we go. Buckethead made a file. Now let's um, do lk of this directory, um, that forward slash share. So this is interesting. So we have two files in here. We have file.txt and test.txt. File.txt is owned by technician, whereas test.txt is owned by buckethead. And in the group potato head, since it's in the group potato head, technician can't write to it because technician is not in the potato head group. If, if we wanted um, a technician to be able to write to this file, we could just change um, the group to dir share. Also, we would need to change their permissions for groups to be able to write to it. Same as we did for um, the file.txt that we, we, we modified for um, Buckethead. Now that we understand how to add users to groups and uh, modify files and directories so that users can write to them, let's change the name of the group. So we do sudo groupmod dr oup mod space dash. Let's uh, do v for verbosity and then space dash n space n means new name. The new name is going to be share. Share. Let's make it sharing. Sharing from dir shr. See what it does. Oh, I, maybe there is no v for verbosity. Let's try it again without the v. Okay, now let's uh, look at groups. Sharing. Check that out. We just changed the name of the group. Okay, now. Let's say we want to remove a user from a group. There are a couple of ways to do it. Check this one out. Now, since we're gonna remove the user, we do g, well, actually we're gonna sudo that. sudo g password um, dash d for delete user. Um, who should we delete from this group? Buckethead. Buckethead, and now the name of the group, um, sharing. There, moving user buckethead from the group sharing. Let's cat, cat, for slash etc, for slash groups. Oops, group. Sharing, Buckethead is no longer there. How about we now delete this entire group? So in order to do that, we're gonna sudo group del and sharing. Okay, now let's uh, cat the group file again. Voila. All right, let's recap. In this segment, I've shown you how to see what groups are in your system, how to add new groups, how to add users to those groups, how to remove users from those groups, how to remove the groups, 
how to modify the groups. We dabbled in file permissions and file ownership. If you got any contributions, suggestions, tips, questions, please visit the Element 14 community at element14.com forward slash pseudosargent.